Hey guys, it's Rachel. So it is Tuesday and I usually come up with videos and post them on Tuesdays. It's just the day I do them. Today I have been feeling pretty lazy. I've kind of done a little bit of cleaning up and a little bit of laundry and now I'm wanting to bake cookies and I thought I'll record it and that'll be today's video. So Christmas is coming up and I am wanting to perfect a few uh, cookie recipes that I haven't even tried yet. So this is take one of uh, these cookies. So today's recipe that I'm trying is a banana chocolate chip cookie. It's supposed to be gluten free and vegan of course, um, but I'm not using gluten free flour so it's not gluten free, sorry. <laughs> The recipe is from theprettybee.com. I will leave the link to the recipe below and you can check that out if you want to. So let's go through the ingredients, shall we? So the recipe only calls for one banana. I'm thinking I might make a double batch, we shall see. But I have some very, very uh, ripe bananas. I have a whole bag of them in my freezer and I'm excited to use them. They were on sale at Walmart, a dollar for a bunch of them. So I bought them and froze them. So these have been de -thawing. They are officially nice and mushy. Uh, next is a vegan butter. I use basil. I grew up on basil and so I just like the taste of it. Uh, I've tried some other brands and so far I just always go back to this. And then the recipe calls for a half cup of coconut sugar. This is all the coconut sugar I have left so you use the rest of this up and then just regular sugar. And then some good old vanilla extract. Um, and again, well, I'm showing you guys all the French sides, wow. Um, just, I'm gonna use all-purpose flour. Again, the recipe calls for gluten-free flour, but I'm not gluten-free and so I don't care. A uh, pinch of salt and baking soda. I don't know what it is, but I always confuse baking soda and baking powder in recipes. I quickly look at something and I'm like, oh yeah, I have that at home, and then I go to actually make it and then I don't have the other one. Uh, when Glenn and I first started dating, he was over and we made pancakes together and the pancakes called for baking soda But I only had baking powder or maybe it was the other way around again I don't know but they ended up turning out to just be shitty little crepes that weren't even that good So yeah, this time I only had baking powder. So I had to run out to Shoppers Drug Mart and get baking soda but it was a good thing that I went because just me being nosy and like reading things. Uh, Nesquik, like their chocolate syrup and chocolate powder is vegan. It says may contain milk in it, but that's probably just with, you know, being made at a factory with other chocolatey things. I don't know, that have milk. So I'm having a hot chocolate right now and it's really great. In my Adventure Time mug that I got at Value Village for like $2. Okay, back, back to the recipe now. And then for bulk corn, I got some uh, semi-sweet dark chocolate chips. They're vegan, no milk in them. Um, and then the Reese's just peanut butter chips are vegan. The recipe only calls for just chocolate, but I'm gonna throw in some peanut butter in there because I think peanut butter is great. Now that you know what we'll be using, let's get started. First things first, gotta preheat that oven. The oven to 350. It says to line baking sheets with parchment paper. I'm a basic bitch and don't have any, so I think I'm just gonna spray a little non-stick Pam, Pam, whatever, the spray. And I think I'm only going to be doing one batch of these instead of two, just for the first time trying them, see if they're any good. Little angle change here so you guys can see what I'm actually doing. So I'm going to put, oh, they're so mushy one of these bad guys in here. Let's just squeeze that open. Mmm, yummy. Mmm, so good. Mmm. So I've got my little turd in there. They told me to smush it well. Next, to add the coconut sugar. I'm gonna pour the rest of my coconut sugar in here and see if we get a half cup. Then I will fill the rest of it with regular sugar, cause whatever. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. Next, 
Next goes in our teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then a quarter cup of our vegan butter. Mmm, yummy. And then they want us, us to mix all that together, so I shall do that. I should get a whisk. That would be the smart thing. I have now upgraded to a whisk. Arms tired, good enough. Now to add the flour. So I've got a nice bit of dough here. I didn't even check to see how much cookies this recipe makes. But I feel like it's not a lot, but I'm into that. I'm into that. Two thirds of a cup of chocolate chips. So I was saying before how I have both chocolate and peanut butter chips. The recipe calls for two thirds chocolate chips, so I will do one third chocolate and one third peanut butter. Math. dark chocolate because it's not sweet enough. This stuff is actually sweet, so I'm into this. Uh, oh yeah. Mmm, those are really good. Now I'm gonna combine them and make a peanut butter cup in my mouth. Num num. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, a little hot chocolate. I'll mix these bad guys around. Well, looky there, sick. Mm, nom, nom, nom. And now we shall make little balls and put them on the cookie trays. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen cookies. Is that unlucky? I don't know, but we're gonna make them. Into the oven they go. Wow, the oven still smells like veggie chick chicken. Oh, interesting. See you guys in a little bit. And so the recipe says to bake for 10 to 12 minutes. So I will set an alarm on my phone here. I got a new phone case. With their little cactuses. And they're saying hi to. And they got little googly eyes. Ah! Okay, 12 minutes. 10, 12, let's do 10. 10 minutes. Oh, gotta love a messy kitchen. Wonderful. So it has been 10 minutes, so I'm gonna check on the cookies and see how they are cooking away. Grab a little oven mitt and pull them out. So they expanded a little. Do a little, oh, 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 oh. So they're soft still. They're still pretty light on the bottoms and they're smushy. I'm gonna steal this guy. Hoo -hoo. So we're gonna put them back for another five minutes, I think. I'm gonna also switch where they're sitting. I find that can make a difference sometimes. We'll check back in five minutes. So I just pulled them out 
it's been five minutes and you can see now that the bottoms are a nice golden brown. So now I'm just gonna let them cool off. Cool off, yeah, I guess. <laughs> and hang out and I'll be back to try them when they're not so hot. Yay, my kitchen is no longer a mess, yay. So I'm an impatient little child and the cookies are not quite cooled off. They're at that perfect like warm, ooey gooey kind of thing. Nom, 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 nom. Hmm. That's an interesting texture. Hmm. It's not quite cookie. It's almost kind of cakey. Mmm. I really like it though. Mmm. And banana y. I think they're gonna say soft. Say stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, so pretty. Mmm. Mmm, 10 out of 10 would make again. When Glenn comes home, I'll get him to try some and I'll show you guys what he thinks. But yeah, I would definitely say that this was a success. So these are on the list of cookies to make for Christmas. Put that in your face. <laughs> Pretty good? Mm -hmm. Pretty good out of 10? I can do them. Okay. Now, can I take my shoes off? Yeah. She's like, as soon as I walked in, she's like, shove this in my face. Yeah. That's the Rachel Bennett that you guys are subscribing to. This me? From Blue. Oh, oh. Well, Glenn likes them. I will be making those again. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Say bye. Bye! Hey guys, I'm looking mighty cute. I have different colored hair than what you just saw. I'm currently editing the video that you just watched. I thought I would throw this bit at the end to say sorry I was gone for a little bit. I had missed a few upload weeks there. My computer was busted. Not busted, but something was wrong with it and I couldn't use it. But I got Glenn to fix it. And now I am back to uploading videos. This video was supposed to go up like three weeks ago or something like that. So it is late. It still kind of makes sense because it's still before Christmas. <laughs> I'm mostly annoyed because I wanted to do Vlogmas this year. And now that it is the 6th of December, I'm a little late. So that's not going to be happening. Next year though, next year I think I'll do Vlogtober and Vlogmas. But anyway, it's just me saying sorry man. And also, thanks for watching to the end of this video if you did. It would be really cool if you could give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!